if you can answer my question correctly, I can get a treasure. Right, word puzzle, dude, math puzzle. Great, math homework. That's what I wanted for me in Livingston. Thank you. I will Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here with more Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal. And after being kicked back to the beginning of Death Trap Dungeon once again, I've been working my way through once again. And it hasn't been going well. I was just going to cut to where I got to before, but I've already lost a bunch of stamina to some traps, and now we have to fight a goblin. So let's see how that nonsense is going to go. All right, I, I'm pretty sure I've got your number. I've got quite a bit of skill. That's got to be a good hit right there. Yeah, that's taking you down to one. Oh, he's got two on me, though. That's taking me down to four stamina. I, I'm not going to survive even getting back to where I was. All right, he's dead. That's good news. Everybody likes it when the goblins die. I was trying to find a mildly different route than what I took before. The passage soon leads to a junction. You notice more footprints on the floor heading north. You decide to follow them. Okay, is this the one that takes me to Throm again? No, this is the one that goes to the idol we've already done. We already got the emerald eye off of that, so we're good here. We can just cozy on our way. Mosey on our way, even. Mosey on our way in a cozy manner. I already know what's in that door. Let's just keep forging ahead. I would just like to get slightly further than where I am before. I have avoided the light the last four times I've gone through here. Why stop that pattern now? Avoid the light. We're not doing an Indiana Jones thing. There will probably be horrible spikes that come out. Now, I could go in here for the random encounter, but... I, you know, I, I figure my risk-reward ratio is actually not so good. I, I figure you've got traps, an enemy, or some loot. So two out of three chance that I'm going to get something bad happening to me. I don't think that's a good ratio. I'm going to keep moving ahead and actually try to avoid some random encounters right now. All right, left and right. Right takes me over the pit, and then we jump over the pit. Left takes me, I think, to a dead end, but let, let me just confirm that. Uh, what's that's a random encounter there again. I'm gonna try and avoid the random encounters a little bit Oh god mirrors mirrors. No, no, just no mirrors get out mirrors are terrible all the time We could enter the room and investigate the mirror or return to the last junction and head east. Yeah, we're out of here There's no such thing as a friendly mirror in any fantasy setting all mirrors are evil Okay deep pit again. We're gonna try and jump over the pit like we have before jump across that Target score of two. I should be okay with that. Oh, just barely, mind you. Just barely. Okay, we made the jump. We are indeed skillful. We got a little bit of XP, and we make it across to the other side. Now, in here, as I recall, is Math Problem Guy. I think I'm going to avoid him, or it might have been this door, too. Letter X is scratched into the center panel We've definitely been in here before. I'm really just trying to get farther than where we've been. Long Thing Tunnel continues up ahead, and we can't see where it leads, but we're going to go up it anyway, because that's Fighting Fantasy Death Trap Dungeon. Thin tripwire stretched low. Well, at least I spotted it this time. Test my luck with a target score of two. Well, I don't actually have that many spots on my target dice here for luck, but maybe... Oh, I think we just made it there. Yep. Just made that check good, because I can't afford to be losing any stamina at this point. None at all. The amount of stamina I would like to lose is zero. Something shining on the ground just up ahead. Oh no, not another luck test, and this one's harder. I don't got that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't, what, what's my, what's my consequence there? Oh, you step on a raised metal plate and you hear a rumble from nearby. This is the boulder again, isn't it? Yeah, it's the boulder again. Rumbling sound swells to an almost deafening level. Yep, I, I get Indiana Jones is back. Suddenly, out of the gloom of the tunnel ahead, you see a massive boulder roll. Yeah, I, did, I certainly turned to flee the oncoming boulder. I'm not just going to stand there and hug it. You quickly run towards the door up ahead, but the boulder is catching up on you. Okay, at least this is a skill check. I've got a better shot at this. Target score of three. Come on. Yeah, we made that. We made that. Phew. All right. Well, hopefully that bypassed the boulder without any stamina loss. Indeed, it does. Lunge at the door and it mercifully flies open. Oh, this isn't word problem, guy. This is the throne. Oh, no. You hear a fluttering of wings and look up to see a giant bat swooping down on you to attack. 
Thanks, Ian Livingston. Appreciate this. And he's not nothing, either. He's got a stamina of six. He's... I need a really good first roll. Like, six would be good. That's not six. It's pretty good, though. It's not six. Now, he needs to... Oh, no, oh, oh, oh! I thought that was going for a four. Okay, I have one stamina left. One. One stamina is the amount of stamina I have left at this moment. Well, the bat's dead. Which is keen. I like it when the bats are dead. Doesn't really help me with the stamina thing. Have we gone and... I think we've gone this way before, but let's... You know what? Let's go this way again. We're almost dead anyway. Oh, good. Random encounter. Please be a healing item. You hear the sound of a snapping tripwire. Generally not a healing item. When I go into my local clinic or hospital, I generally don't hear the sound of a snapping tripwire. So this is probably not going to end well. Yay! Roll three luck dice and lose one stamina for each blank rolled. I need to nail this, or we're going back to the beginning again. I need to get all three of these. I need a... No, we didn't do that. We didn't do that at all. Okay, see you back at the beginning. Well, we've got the stamina to take a random encounter now, because our stamina's been replenished after losing a life. We've lost three out of our nine lives at this point. Ooh, a bandage! Something nice! That's unusual! We never get something nice. That's that's fantastic. You notice the air becoming hotter and hotter and you find yourself panting. Yes, it's the lava room again. We've kind of covered this fighting fantasy. Small recess bamboo shoot with clear liquid. We do want to drink the liquid. The liquid will protect us from the heat from the lava that we're about to have no choice but to walk through. Water in the bamboo pipe is welcomingly refreshing. You start off north again in good spirits. I'm not in good spirits at all. That's a complete complete fantasy on your part. I am not in good spirits at all. Temperature continues to rise and you find yourself dripping with sweat, but it's okay because the mysterious bamboo liquid thing is going to protect us. Pools of molten lava give off a tremendous heat, which you find almost unbearable. Although the temperature is higher than you could normally tolerate, you somehow manage to keep from passing out and press on. Yes, wonderful bamboo liquid. Because... Fighting fantasy, just drink unknown liquids, it's a crapshoot. Maybe it's going to help you, maybe it'll kill you. Who knows? I don't immediately recall what's in this door, but I know we've been in there before, so let's just keep moving forward. If we've already conquered the set event, it'll turn out to just be a random encounter, and again, if I can avoid random encounters, I'm going to go ahead and do that at this point in the game. Uh, junction, more footprints on the floor heading north, and we decide to follow them, and we're back in the statue room with the emerald eyes. So we've basically come around in a circle. I was trying to go a different right way, but we're, we're where we're supposed to be. We're where we were momentarily. Um, you know what? Let's, let's try word puzzle door guy again, because at the very least he gives away loot, and this isn't word puzzle guy. And he spots something out of the corner of my eye. It's an event. There's a backpack on the floor, possibly belonging to one of my rivals. Reach in to see what it contains. I need one gold piece for each success. Oh, okay. So it's just some just some gold. Yay, there's two gold. I don't really have a vendor, unless I get kicked back outside again, but yay, I got some got some gold out of that. That's better than a giant bat. One of these days, probably on my very last life, I'm going to go through the light. But not today. Not today. My last life, I will go through the light and find out what it is. I'm not going in there because it's a random encounter, and the last time I did that, it was a giant fly who messed me up. All right. Well, we're going to do the pit again. Because we know where that goes. Except we got to remember about... Oh, you know what? I Oh, I should have gone the other way. Although I think we're kind of limited here. Okay, let's do that. Because up ahead is the Indiana Jones boulder. We're going to run into that thing again. And we know there's a trap up there as well. Or at least there was a trap. I don't remember if that was a random encounter. Well, we'll soon find out. Okay, what was what was in here that killed me again? Oh, this was, uh, this was World Word Puzzle Guy. Okay, yes, this was Number Guy. This was, yes, behind me lies a chest filled with mysterious treasures. If you can answer my question correctly, I can get a treasure. Right, Word Puzzle Dude. Math Puzzle. Great, Math Homework. That's what I wanted for me in Livingston. Thank you. I will answer a question, sure. Can run but never walks, has a mouth but never talks, has a head but never weeps, has a bed but never sleeps. Well... I've read enough fantasy riddles to know that that is a river. A river has a bed, a river has a head, a river has a mouth, a river can run. It's a river. Got it. 
All right, let's take a thing out of his chest and we pull out a silver brooch. Brooch, excuse me, silver brooch will heal you one stamina point after every battle. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, thank you. That That's the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, no, we're not going into... Oh, wait, we are... You know what? We probably are going into the X door because up ahead is only the boulder. It's just the boulders. There's no reason to go up there. But a random encounter in here, obviously, it's another giant rat. Yay. He only has four stamina, though. I think we'll be... We'll be okay with this, probably. Yeah, there we go. We got him one shot at him. Okay, one shot at the giant rat. Excellent. Oh, that pushes me up into the next level, too. I've been really going on the skill, and I... I think that's still the way I'm going to go. There just seems to be, in terms of numbers, there's just way more skill checks than luck checks. So I'm going to keep the skill ticking up. Especially if that means we can one-shot things. That would be ideal. It's long battles that are, are going to wreck me. If I can come in and one-shot something, that would be the best way to do it. Something lying on the ground. Okay. It's a tome. You find an old book which describes taining, trading techniques plus 5 XP. Okay, good. You know what? That's a, that's a totally neutral event. Thank you. I appreciate that. Nothing happened there. That's the best news I could hear. You sit and rest on a bench for a while, plus five stamina, at the one point that I don't really need stamina. Thanks. Gained plus five stamina. Woot. That's exactly the point. I didn't need stamina. Where was that bench ten minutes ago? Right hand wall, withered hand. We've been in there before. That was the escaped prisoner, or not the escaped prisoner, the prisoner whom we helped escape. So I can only assume in there right now is a random encounter, because he's already escaped. We already got the achievement for it, so I don't see any reason to go back into that room. The tunnel down to the right, the pipe in the wall, we're not going to go into, because we know what's down there. It actually just shoots us right back outside, and I would prefer to avoid that if at all possible. I, I, I appreciate the fact that I get another chance at Death Trap Dungeon, but... Also, being kicked back outside every single time is not, not not the best thing in the world. Maybe I could respawn where I fell. I don't know. Spot something out of the corner of my eye. A lucky charm. Automatically pass one luck test. Well, that's going to come in handy. That's definitely going to come in handy. Those are some pretty good of random events we've had in a row there. I'm surprised and terrified now. I think Throm's right here. Isn't Throm around here somewhere? Let's go uh, to the right. That looks kind of like a dead end. Tunnel comes to a dead end. Yeah, okay. Piece of brown paper curled with age. Uh, yeah, let's read the paper. Beware the trial masters. No kidding. Wait, why did you even need to write that down? Were you worried you were going to forget? Of course we're bewaring the trial masters. It's death trap dungeon, you moron. You soon come to an edge of a wide pit. Oh, Throm is gone. Huh. Throm is always right there, and then we do the thing with the pit. Yeah, large plank of wood, climb down. Well, you know what? We've climbed down every single time. Let's try and go across it. I have a sneaking suspicion this will be a luck or skill check, but we've never been this way. Oh, we just made it across. I would, I would have guaranteed you that was a skill or a luck check. Further down the tunnel, you step on a floor stone. Oh, here's the trap. Here's the trap. Of course, the log is not the trap. The trap is after the log. Oh, Ian Livingston. Which tilts forward, trigger, triggering a trap which releases a boulder loosely set in the ceiling. You look up just as it is about to crash on top of you. Oh, good. Um, you know what? I I won't. I, I had it for seconds. I won't miss it if I don't have it anymore. I'm using my lucky charm. I want to automatically pass this. Thank you. You just managed to move out of the way before the boulder smashes to the floor. As you dust yourself off, you suddenly notice daylight at the end of the tunnel. If this is leading me back outside, I'm, I'm going to have a problem with that. You arrive at the most beautiful sight you have seen in a long time, a way out of the dungeon. I doubt that. I kind of doubt this. You expect to see the welcoming sight of cheering people, but there's no hero's welcome from the people around you. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Yep, thought so. It was some sort of an illusion. Yeah, nobody gets out of Death Trap Dungeon. Nobody does. Nobody can beat Death Trap Dungeon. You are standing amidst many skeletons, and the area suddenly becomes very cold. The exit to victory was just an illusion. Only the corpses of past adventurers are real, and they come to life and advance towards you. And there's like five of them, and possibly a skeletal horse. I'm not sure. Oh, good. 
I'm glad I got full stamina at least. Seeing that you are overwhelmed, you try to head back into the tunnel but hit an invisible barrier. You are trapped in this ghoulish place and must fend off a horde of skeletons. This'll be fun. Oh, and they have eight stamina. And they have eight stamina. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad I took that extra skilled spot on my dice. This'll be fun. Yeah, there's there's two. I, I saw at least five. And then he's taken three off of me. Okay, keep it coming. Keep it coming. Oh, that's a terrible roll. And by terrible, I mean one. Uh, okay, well, he got a one as well. All right. Yep, I know, I know, it's all ter- Oh, wow, I'm really not doing good with the rolls here. I, I need to be one-shotting these guys. I need to be taking them out faster than this. Because they're just- It's a war of attrition. They will win at some point. Oh, that couldn't have been a three. Couldn't have been a three. No, no, no. Had to be a- Oh, did you get a zero? The best news I've heard all day. Well, I got you now. Unless I rolled a zero, which I didn't. And yeah, where was that four a little bit ago? All right, there's one. There's one. You, wait, I lose five stamina, and I gotta fight another skeleton. That, that's, that's, that's happening. Oh, that's a good one. Now, what is that? What does that knock you down to? Three. Okay, and a two on me. If I'm gonna take another five stamina after this is done, I, I don't really see a way I can actually win. Oh, good. I got a little tiny knock on him. Oh, thankfully he rolled a zero. Good. Good, good, good. Now, if I could just nail this guy right now. Oh, yeah, there's a good one. There's a good one right there. Oh, I'm taking hits from all sides. I bet I'm going to lose five stamina. I lose five stamina. That's not fair. There's no way I can win this. Absolutely. Well, I mean, that is a really good roll on my part. I will give myself that. And he just killed me. There we go. And we're dead again. We are dead again. I bet we're going to wake up outside. Yes, I am not surprised to be waking up at the entrance to Death Trap Dungeon again. Again. This is like Dante wrote this. Forget even Ian Livingston. It, it's like Dante wrote this. This is an exploration of hell. You're just going back and forth and back and forth and dying every time. It's some Sisyphean nightmare. Okay, well, we're down to five lives. At some point, this will end in approximately five lives from now. I don't know if I'll get any farther, but I'm going to keep trying because that's what you do with Fighting Fantasy. But we'll pick it up again in Fighting Fantasy Legends Portal next time. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.